that Seventh Day Adventist church. Yeah. I was thinking, well, there's a church there, so I'll go there and then I'll talk to somebody. It was a set, it was a Sunday, and I realized Seventh Day Adventist they have church on Saturday. So it was a Sunday, and I was on my way up to 2009 in May, and I made it. 10 miles before this exit, Artesia Wells, Texas. And I came to this house, and there was a, a guy and his wife and kids, and they were playing inside. <clears throat> you could hear them. He was rolling around on his day off with his kids on the floor. <laughs> it sounded pretty cool. Um, I went there. He helped me out. He picked me up, took the tire off my truck the truck I was driving at the time, the one that was stolen from me later, and uh, he went to, uh, we went north about 20 miles to a town that <clears throat> he plays on uh, um, a baseball team or softball team or something, and he went to his buddies, he called his buddy to open up his shop on a Sunday. They would not let me pay. We went to his dad's house first to get a, uh, um, went to his dad's house to get a, uh, a tire that would fit my truck. And of course, it, that tire just literally only got me to San Antonio and that was it. Not, no further. And, uh, It got me there, and they wouldn't let me pay for anything. He brought me back down here, put the tire, the tri uh, wheel back on my truck, and I'd left from here. But I talked to him about the Lord a little bit. He told me that his dad had been a Presbyterian minister. I told him I grew up in a Presbyterian church, the Frozen Chosen. And he... Uh, <coughs> He said, when I asked him, you know, if he ever considered giving his heart completely, he said, to the Lord Jesus Christ, he said, yeah, my wife did. She's a strong Christian. And he gave me an email address that they both use. And uh, we stayed in touch for about a year. I don't know if he ever gave his heart to God, but man, was he sure sitting there looking like something serious had happened in his life. Um, I got to get moving here. I was trying to get up into the eclipse, and I missed it by probably 20, 30 minutes. And there's too many clouds, you can see.